The problem says test dimensionally if the formula t equals to 2 pi root under m upon f by x may be correct where t is the time period, m is the mass, f is the force and x is the distance. So first let's write the dimensions of each physical quantity over here. So mass m has a dimensions of m1, l0, t0, dimensions of force we know it's m1, l1, t minus 2, dimensions of distance x is equals to m0, l1, t0. On the left hand side the time period has a dimensions t is equals to m0, l0, t1. Now let's put it in the equation. So here the equation is a t is equals to 2 pi. Now 2 pi is a constant so it doesn't have any dimensions f by x. So let's substitute these dimensions on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. So on the left hand side the dimensions will be m0, l0, t1 and on the right hand side since 2 pi doesn't have dimensions let's figure out the dimensions which are present inside this root. So root under m, m is m1, l0, t0 whole divided by force, force is m1 L1 T minus 2 whole divided by the dimensions of X which is L1 because I am 0 and T0. Let's simplify it further. So we get here under root in the numerator M1 only because L is 0 and T is 0 whole divided by this L1 and that L1 this and this they will cancel out and you left with M1 T minus 2. So when we go this when we take this on the top this will be simply root under t to the power 2 and root of t to the power 2 is simply t to the power 1. So hence so we can write here hence it is m0 l0 t to the power 1. So LHS equals to RHS hence this equation is dimensionally correct.